Good morning. This is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to my pre-market game plan for the major futures indices. Gold and oil for today, Friday, August 25th. It's 8, uh, 52 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's begin with oil. Oil has been having an ascending move in the overnight trading session, specifically into the Asian session. It has stabilized with the first layer of support at $47.67, resistance at $47.88, and we had a trigger to the downside that took the price and established a new support level at $47.50. Keep in mind that this area becomes very weak moving forward. We do have the 20 and the 200 moving average right here that is putting a lot of pressure on price. Uh, any the price, uh, if the price stabilizes in this area, we may see a turnaround back at this point in the area of minor resistance. That can take the price back down to 47.50 and for a further continuation into the 47.48 area and possibly further targets 47.40, uh, $47.20, and $47 uh, even number. So this is the bias for today. If we should get a breakout above $47 and 90 cents, we may see see a push forward into the $48, into the $48.20 and $48.40. And the only variable, the only question remains how much of a risk uh, will we apply for this trade because so far the weight is pretty wide at this point. As you can see, the early chart suggests that uh, we need to apply a stop of $47.90 in, uh, in order to gain Profits at 47.40, 47.20. Not a lot of risk to reward ratio. However, we may look at this trade as a possible trade for uh, for today. Uh, let's continue with gold. And uh, gold is uh, very neutral to start the day. And gold has been uh, basing for a very long time uh, this week. As you can see here, we're having somewhat of a, a, a coiling pattern. So it has been basing for uh, since actually uh, August the 17th, uh, we established support at 1286 and resistance at 1300. We had a flurry to the upside uh, on the 18th. That took out these two prior highs right here. So therefore establishing this triple cluster high right here. Obviously, if we break above the 1300 area, with a risk of 1286, we may see further projections higher into the 1350. If we break below, uh, if we break below the 1285 area, we may see uh, we may see a continuation lower into the 1280, 1270 for the secondary target, and to, back to 12, uh, 1260 and possibly 1250. So let's go back to the one-hour chart and let's see how the day is shaping up for this Friday. As well, you can see it right here, it is represented. 1290 is the support area as we're moving forward. You can see that we have a 200 moving average here as well. And as long as we keep this, uh, maintain these parameters at 1290, a rotation back to the 1296 area would be possible. All right, let's move on to the indices and we're gonna move to a mini Dow. Ebony Dow has popped to the upside after a very neutral session into the New York session and into the Asian session. Three, 5 a.m. actually came with a kick to the upside, sending the price up into the 200 moving average also an area of resistance of 21,840. Uh, 21, As well, this is a resistance area, it has room to run into the 860 and possibly into the 900. However, we're seeing a rotation at this point. If we get to break below 21,820, and in fact, yesterday for the whole trading session, we were waiting for this 21,822 break to the upside. Keep in mind, very choppy price action. We're still trading within inside daily ranges. What that means is that it does not favor follow through for our trades. So I'm going to be very reserved in terms of uh, these indices for today as well. So a pullback a pull into the 21800 may be seen as possible buy uh, for a continuation pattern into the 840 and the targets that I've mentioned before. However, a breakdown below 21750 can bring more selling pressure that can take the price back down to 21711 possibly into the 21680 All right, so let's begin. Let's start with the mini S&P 500. 
MED S&P 500, same reaction, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, sent the price back up into this resistance at 48.49. Uh, turn around at this point, you can see the price that is struggling to hold um, uh, to hold the 40, uh, 24, 46 area, and this is an area where we have uh, where we have a cluster of resistance here that is creating a shelf of support. Also, we have the 200 moving average that is trying to stabilize price at this point and bring some kind of buying pressure moving forward. The range is a little wide for the MD S&P 500 in terms uh, in terms of a setup uh, from the hourly chart. However, a pullback into the 24. 42 area will be seen as viable. This area will represent an alternate area of support moving forward. Uh, however, the first uh, the first clue, if we're going to hold a, a 2445 area into the New York trading session open, we might see a rotation back to the upside to challenge these highs at 2455. All right, let's take a look at NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, same reaction. 5 a.m. Eastern time came with a push higher, sending the price into a resistance area newly formed 5868 uh, same with the uh, same as with the M&S&P 500 we're seeing the price sandwiched in between the 200 moving average and this top right here so right now we're having this uh, newly formed somewhat of support level right here 5854 if we get a pullback into the 5850 this would be seen as viable. However, you would have to have a stop of 5830 in order to alleviate all of the fleecing that may happen from the open and soon after the open, the reactions that may happen out uh, of the open. So if we don't get a better setup in this, again, very high risk involved with NASDAQ. All right, so in terms of relative strength and relative weakness, I'm looking at the leaderboard right now, and we have NASDAQ that is leading with 0.33% to the upside, followed by the S&P with 0.27% to the upside, and we have YM that is leading um, uh, the downside with only 20%, so not li literally leading the downside, but it's the weakest index as of this point right now. All right, one last look at um, bonds, and let's see how the bonds are shaping up. And this is the 30-year Treasury bond futures. All right, so what we have right now is the price broke the 155.31 level, sending a flurry down, creating a new support level of 155.29. If we break above 156.05, we may see more room to continue to the upside into the 156.9, 156.10 area, possibly higher into the 156.13 and 156.18, and even challenged as high as 156.19. Keep in mind that there is a higher target into the 157.04, 157 area that can literally be sustained. However, Keep in mind, we're, we're trying to establish here some sort of a downtrend. We have a high and we have some sort of lower highs and lower lows setting at this point. We see that the 156 area didn't hold. Lot of stops that were placed at the 156 level flurry to the downside. This is summer trading at its best. This is algo trading as, at its best. All right, so keep it in mind, rule of thumb, August trading and going into Labor Day a little after Labor Day, you have to double your stops and reduce your position size for maximum profits for the month of August if you should trade the month of August. So month of August is very flurry. It is very uh, spready. So keep in mind, half your risk and double your stop. This is the recipe for the summer trading. And keep in mind, keep those bullets and ammo, ammo for September. We're going to begin. We're going to begin the fourth quarter, which is the most powerful, powerful quarter of the year. If you haven't made money in the first, second, or third quarter, or if you're new to trading, you're going to be experiencing uh, the best period of trading yet. The fourth quarter is by far one of the best quarters for any kind of trader, uh, and a fund manager for that reason. All right. Um, now, this is all for now, but if you would like to receive more information on our trading programs, visit our website, tradeoutloud.com forward slash futures. We're offering a brand new class uh, starting on Monday. Uh, it is a six-day power income day trading class. 
It starts on Monday. It's a it's a six day event with a very comprehensive approach to trading, a systematic approach to trading. Everything you need to know about day trading futures strategies, trailing, management, etc. Technical analysis at its best. Uh, it is it is an event that captures more than fifty. 15 hours of live education it is live online make sure you visit our website and if you would like to sign up for more information uh, send us an email at info at tradeoutloud.com also on September 5th we have a live trading lab you get to trade with me where you're gonna experience compiling the pre-market game game plan with me live and we're gonna be taking trades together also that's not all for four months from now on until the end of the year because I promise you guys this is the best end of year where we have a lot of events that are scheduled into this year end you're going to benefit with supplemental classes live classes that are specific for the fourth quarter such as carnicopia trading such as window dressing such as january effect so if you want to be prepared for the fourth quarter you can sign up today it is info at tradeoutloud.com. For more trading ideas, follow us on our private Twitter feed. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful weekend and have a profitable trading day.